Hello guys, today we will be talking about our 75 watt brushless DC motor driver which can have voltage between 24 volt to 48 volt. We will be using this to control our brushless motor of 400 watt. First, let me explain more about BLDC motor driver. Rhino motor control with RTU mode bus is high performance BLDC drive designed for optimized operation of any BLDC for motor with hall sensor feedback. Brushless DC motor driver can control motor of 24 volt to 48 volt with high power of 750 watt. This drive can control manually by potentiometer in analog control mode. It can be controlled by PLC, PC software, microcontroller, SBC or any other device which can communicate with RTU mode bus. This drive can also be operated by software using RTU communication without using onboard or external potentiometer. All the interfacing details are mentioned on the drive. Here there are the connection for power supply, then the connection of the motor, then there are the connection for the hall sensor and next to that there are the control pins here. First is the 5 volt for DC 5 volt input. Second one is the SV for speed voltage input. Third one common is the common port. Fourth one F slash R for forward reverse control of the motor. Fifth enable is for stop and run control of the motor. Brake for the brake control of the motor. And then is SPD for speed signal output and then ALM for alarm signal output. Three potentiometers PC, RV and ADC are available on the drive to set current, speed and acceleration of the motor manually in analog control mode. Here 8 pin RS485 port is available which can be used to connect through the mode bus and for the connection you need one USB to 485 or serial to 485 converter. There are 10 switches available on this drive to set this slave ID and you can set 15 slave ID from these switches and up to 15 motors can be controlled using single mode bus line. Here switch 1 is for pole setting. For 2 pole motors switch 1 should be off and for 4 pole motors switch 1 should be on. This is 4 pole motor so switch 1 should be on. Then switch 2 is for maximum RPM. For 3000 RPM switch 2 should be off and for 6000 RPM switch 2 should be on. But this is 3000 RPM motor so the maximum RPM goes to 3000 RPM. So the switch 2 should be on. It has inbuilt over current, over voltage and under voltage protection. There are two LED indicators here. If the red one is on, then there is an error and if the green one is on, then there is no error. Now we will operate this motor in analog control mode. This is very simple mode because you can control this motor using the potentiometer. First, connect the UVW phase line of the motor to the UVW port of the drive. Second, the hall sensor connection to the drive and third connect enable to ground and the brake to ground then connect the dc plus and dc minus to the power supply check the polarity before connection if we turn on the switch we can see that there would be an led indication here and the motor will run automatically you can see here there is a green led so that means there is no error and the second the motor will run automatically after switching on the power supply now we can change the speed of the motor and the acceleration of the motor through the potentiometer available on the strike first the current control second one is the speed control and the third one is the acceleration control first we are going to change the speed this is the potentiometer and we are moving it in the clockwise direction to increase the speed and we are moving in the anti-clock direction to decrease the speed you can also change the direction in analog control mode and for this you have to connect FR to common board and here I am going to connect the FR to the common and you can see here the direction of the motor would change and when I move this then the direction will change and we can also check the acceleration for that we have to first increase the acceleration through the potentiometer here we are moving this potentiometer in clockwise direction and now when we change the direction 
then we can observe that the direction will change after decreasing to its zero position and then increasing gradually. Here we conclude and lock control of the motor with the drive. Now we are moving on the software control of the drive. To control the drive through PC, a fully featured software is available and also any other software ready or custom made which can communicate on Modbus R2 can be used to control this drive. A USB to RS485 converter is required which will generate a virtual COM port on the PC. Make all the connection of the motor with the drive. You can set any of the slave ID from this switches. I am going to select the slave ID one and for this we need to switch on the switch 7. And now you need to connect RJ45 connector with this and now to the PC. After connecting USB to RS45 to the PC, open the software, check the COM port in device manager, here the COM3, so select the COM3, select the slave ID, then click on connect. Here you can see that the, if connection is successful, then green indication would blink in the software. Now you can see here the speed feedback, current feedback and the voltage feedback. Right now, this is in analog mode and this is the maximum RPM of the motor. And I'm going to change the RPM of the motor by moving the potentiometer of the speed. And you can see that the speed of the motor decreases. And if I move the potentiometer in clockwise, then the speed of the motor would increase gradually. To enable the motor in Modbus control mode, click on enable Modbus control and the motor would stop. You can see in the feedback section that the speed of the motor would be zero. Now you can set the speed by entering the value here. I am entering 1000 RPM and click on set. Now to enable the motor in Modbus control mode, click on enable motor forward. You can see here the speed of the motor. Now to reverse the direction of the motor, click on enable motor reverse. This is the plus sign to increase the speed gradually by 100 like this. You can see the variation in the feedback section and minus sign is for to decrease the speed by 100 RPM. To apply brake, click on brake motor. You can see here the motor will stop. Now enable the motor. I am setting the maximum RPM of the motor here and click on set. You can see here the motor moving with 3000 RPM. Now to disable the motor, click on disable motor. To disable the mode bus control, click on disable mode bus control. Now you can see that it will switch to analog mode again. Here we conclude the software control of the drive.